I'm excited to see it. I think I was 13 when I did that film with Megan Follows. And I remember being most excited because Jack Bloom, who was a writer, uh, was in Meatballs. He played Spaz. So I was very excited that I was going to meet Spaz. I haven't seen it for many, many years, over 20 years, so it'll be fun to see it again. I've had films screen without my attendance, a short film called Uriah, which I produced, Nurse Fighter Boy, uh, which I co-wrote with Charles Officer, I produced, he directed, it was a CFC feature film, and I know Clark Johnson won Best Performance, I think, Morso's Award that year, and then I've screened The Animal Project, and I had my actors in town for that was the year that I did the punk film's Fem Lab shout out at the awards brunch and Melissa Leo stood up. And last year I screened He Hated Pigeons. So I've physically been here, this will be my third time. I've screened eight films. I'm gonna be watching films throughout the entire film festival and then we deliberate Saturday, Ty and Deepa and myself. And I think it's gonna be a very fiery and uh, passionate conversation. Well, I'm just finishing my sixth feature. I'm grading and going into the mix and the music is being composed now. So it'll be finished at the end of this year and that's been like the last year of my life. Been doing some film festivals as jury members. I was just on the international feature film jury at RIDM, which is a documentary festival in Montreal. I teach at the Canadian Film Centre and at U of T and at York University. So the comp between teaching and making films and doing a bit of traveling, it's pretty packed. Career highlight. Well, a career highlight definitely was being here at Whistler in 2014 and winning the um, Best Female Director Award from the Alliance of Women Film Journalists. And being on that podium, just as I was thinking about initiating a program where Canadian women would continue in their feature filmmaking with second, third, fourth, fifth features. So at the podium I said I want to see more Canadian fiction features written and directed by women. Everyone said yes. And I said right, well I'm going to launch something where six Canadian women will each write an original screenplay in the next six months. Will anyone stand up with $6,000 for a first look at these scripts? And it was crickets. And I thought okay here we go, like you know a lot of talk, no action. And I remember The Hollywood Reporter having a table and Variety having a table. I said, all right, whoever stands up is going to get some press. And everyone was looking around. And then I just started counting down. I said, OK, I'm going to give you six seconds, hoping someone would stand up. And by the time I got to three, Melissa Leo shot her hands in the air and said, I'll do it. So, And that birthed this sixth film that I'm finishing now. So without that moment happening, I'm not sure if I would have written this particular screenplay and if this particular film, Porcupine Lake, would be in the world. So that was a career highlight. And like I think a career, this film is a bit of a career changer for me too. Oh, all kinds of fun moments. I mean, great hot tub memories and getting lost in the forest at night and being here with the Animal Project, with my cast, Jessica Greco and Aaron Poole, and doing that Q&A was fantastic. And last year with He Hated Pigeons, which was a film I shot in South America, from the Atacama Desert to Patagonia. And the idea with that film was, each time it screened, a local artist would improvise the score. So the music was never known to me. The only direction the artist received was no music should happen in the first six minutes. After that, they had complete creative control. So of the 40 times that film screened, it was always a different experience. It was never recorded. It was never repeated. And it was a music showcase band that was performing here called Morning Show that did the live score for the Whistler Film Festival screening, and that was a highlight. I loved what they did, and now they're friends, so. You caught me at a moment where I just did a panel about the female POV in feature filmmaking, and I just have gone into a very fiery conversation with Deepa Mehta. So, my answer is colored by that because I just want to say fire, you know, or like not only are there, you know, you see fires literally around, but there's a kind of being here ignites a kind of creative fire in the connections that are made between people and the films that you see that you debate over or the ideas and philosophies and approaches and um, 
and ideas that you debate over. So it feels like, I guess my word would be fire. I'm really looking forward to just seeing as many films as I can because you can come here and do a lot of receptions and lots of fun social stuff because they throw some pretty good parties and uh, luncheons. But ultimately, the programming is very strong and Paul Gratton's been around the block and knows his stuff, so it's fantastic and I've been really excited to kind of just get immersed in the films. If you could hot tub with any celebrity, who would you choose? Well, I just saw La La Land last night, so can I say Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling? Can I have two? Sing and dance together in the hot tub? Yeah, the La La Land stars.